Hi kitties, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be an empties video. This is going to be my first empties video ever. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I'm always trying to like save stuff. Like some of this isn't even accurate because I've had so many other empties but every time I want to do it I end up forgetting it and I just throw it away. But today I do have a few things and I just wanted to get this started because I think this is a fun video to do. You get to see my trash plus you know you get to know my opinions about it. So let's just move on. The first thing is my Kat Von D. What is it? Lock It Tattoo Powder Foundation. And if you guys watched my Christmas haul you guys saw that I got um, a bunch of Sephora gift cards. This was one of the things I bought with my gift card so it kind of did last a year and it is completely gone. Like I used every last bit of this and I want to say it because it's cute and what should I say about this? I did like it. I would repurchase it but I don't know if it was like the best thing for me because I would still feel oily but again I'm not that type of person that touches it up like I should touch it up in the middle of the day when I start getting oily but I didn't so I would kind of get oily with this which I thought it would leave me matte but it did have good coverage and it was really awesome so I think I would buy it again I don't know but I liked it also keeping on with that haul which lasted me for a year as well I still have some in this but I thought I'd include it anyway it's the Boing Concealer from Benefit in the color 01. As you can see, there is still some. I'm trying to scrape all of it, use the rest, but it is nearly practically empty. And I really like this. I know that most of you saw also, I mentioned in the video that it did crease on my eyes under my eyes and it kind of does but if you set it well it actually works really awesome and I just really enjoyed this product now I don't know if I will repurchase it I think I want to try out some other I kind of want to try like a liquid one I don't know so I'm going to try some others haven't repurchased and then something that is recent are these hair dyes and I tried these new ones this time in my two videos from before you could probably really see it because I just dyed it like that night and I got burgundy and then I mixed it with crimson so these two and to be exact this is light intense violet red and intense red violet and I really liked it I'm kind of going more for like a dark red though I like saw some of my past videos and I was like OMG like I had really bright hair and I did like it but like I don't know sometimes when you see yourself in the past you're like girl did you really do that but I did like it but I kind of want more like dark like I like the way it is right now like I love this hair dye that's what I'm trying to say so I really like it and this line is really really awesome I could see a difference between this one and the L'Oreal and I'm loving it so I definitely recommend that you guys try these out they sell them at Sally's I also finished up this herbal essence naked dry shampoo and I usually use just the suave one which I love and I would prefer over this one the thing I liked about this one was the smell it smells like mint so I really enjoyed that, but I'd stick with, you know, the suave for two bucks. So. And what empties video would be complete without some makeup wipes? My right. So these are just the Aveeno Ultra Calming Makeup Wipes. These are by far my most favorite makeup wipes of all time. They get everything off. They leave your skin feeling soft and awesome. And I just love it so much. This, I finished up one of these. Wet n Wild H2O proof eyeliners, liquid liners, and I love this stuff. Like, I've been trying to perfect my eyeliner. To be honest, if you look up close, sometimes my eyeliner is just horrible. Like, I'm trying, I'm trying, guys, I'm just trying. But I really loved this. Like, this doesn't come off. Like, no joke. And I do have, I did repurchase one of these, but I repurchased the wrong color. 
I got like a smoky one, which I hate it. I just want a black, so I'm going to definitely go buy just a regular black one soon. But I've been using the Kat Von D li um, liquid pen, I mean pen liners, whatever. And honestly, this is way better. Like those ones, they smear, you wipe it off with your finger, they're gone. This one, it is not gone. Like it's magic. Love that stuff. And then I also finished up this Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara, and I do really like this. It's really good just to get, you know, your bottom. Let's look in the mirror. I just want to talk about my bottom lashes and look at them at the same time. But yeah, I really like this. It did help me because whenever I use just a regular brush, I get it all over my eyes. So I really like this and I think I will repurchase it. It's like $10 at Sephora, which isn't bad. It's kind of like the same price as just a basic mascara. And yeah, so I really liked this. Then I also finished up this sample of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. And I loved this stuff so much while I had it. It was definitely like hairspray on your, on your little eyebrows. And I did repurchase a different one from like the drugstore. I think it's just like the Great Lash one, but it's for your eyebrows. And I do not really like that one at all. It takes it takes really long to dry on your eyebrows and it's just bad, guys. So I would totally recommend this one if you're willing to splurge the money and you really just want to keep those brows in place. And the last thing that I have today is it's practically empty guys I have not finished up a Bath and Body Works lotion in who knows how long which I'm trying to finish up as much as I can until the SAS comes because girl I'm gonna splurge and this is just the cashmere glow and I really liked this one it was alright like make up your mind did you like it did you not I did like it. it wasn't I don't even know when I got it I think at one time when I got like the buy three get three free I was just like I'm gonna try this one and it was actually good you know like a different scent than I would normally wear so go and smell this because it is actually delicious I guess we should talk about some of the empty candles while we're at it I'll just add them in I finished practically leaves love this one my ultimate favorite Bath and Body Works fall scent. This is like speaks fall to me and I miss it already. And I did finish this one as well. It doesn't light anymore which I'm sad. Pumpkin Apple. Talked about it in my haul and I love this one so much guys. Like it's pumpkin and apples just like the name. And you need to go to the store. Sniff this one. It is the best. If you want to be, if you're that type of person that likes to be suffocated with scents like this is the one for you because it lights up the whole house. I mean, it fills up the whole house, and I love it. And alrighty, guys, that is my trash. All of the things that I've used up recently, and I hope you like this. Don't guarantee that this is going to be like a monthly thing or something, because who knows. It kind of takes me a long time to finish stuff, let's just be honest. But, you know, when I accumulate enough stuff like this again, I will definitely do another one of these videos and thumbs up this video or comment down below and let me know if you guys like this, if you guys want to see it again or if you hated it and you never want to see it again, like just let me know. And also please leave requests down below, please, so I could film some videos for you guys because we're getting back into that video swag. And I love you all little meow meow kitties to the moon and back. So I will see you guys next time. Bye!